Well, well, what do we have here? It seems as if uh, Turkey Tom, whose Twitter handle is Sam T with two E's, can't handle any type of criticism. And as of recording, he's He's now down to 31.9k followers right now. Even though he's practically losing more uh, subscribers at the moment on his YouTube channel. And, uh, you know. Yeah, this video is going to be titled. Turkey Tom criticism not welcome because apparently Turkey Tom cannot take criticism very well. And as he now responds to Cairo as of, uh, let's see, how long has it been? Five days ago. Everything has gone to shit. When uh, Turkey Tom make some uh, points which aren't completely all 100% valid from any of these circumstances. I've been looking for his Twitter now and you know it's pretty clear he doesn't want to take criticism. Everyone has called out Turkey Tom, rightfully so, because he can't handle criticism. And William Krampus Jr. treated here very nice way to handle criticism, not in any way with it. Good job. Here's your gold star. And I gotta tell you, that's a terrible gold star. I'm drawing of a gold star. Because of course, I'm not sure this tweet is is first of all being sarcastic, but I'm going to go and look through all of this here, which is kind of to be expected, because this person caught Turkey Tom's attention. And uh, he tweeted, was expecting a bit more of an apology for clearly writing a very one-sided response which basically ignores all alternative interpretations and insinuates that Pyro is a pedo, although not specifically stating so, but I guess we'll take what we can get. Since you know, your duck was kind of misleading just a tad a little bit, and that's a disservice to you. Literally, everyone trying to de 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 decipher their own feelings and and opinion on over the matter, and then too depressed to live tweeted in agreement. Yeah, exactly. I also have no idea why he's taking it so personally when he wasn't the only person writing the doc. He got help from other people. A-F-A-I-K also 
bringing the 14 year old French girl drops uh, again really confused me. I don't see how the, it is relevant. And And there are more replies, and this person comes to Turkey Tom's defense, named Jack, saying he doesn't insinuate he's Peter. He just gives his opinion based on circumstantial evidence. It's amazing how it's amazing people just get pyro pass for not knowing Irish age. It's fucking weird. And then he responds here, proving quote unquote, quote unquote, proving pyro's guilt. And how Turkey and how Tom can't rule out grooming and how Tom doesn't mention any of this being an opinion or, you know, not proven conclusively until the 16th page insinuates a message regardless of intention. Stating, stating that Pyro not knowing Ivy's age is ridiculous is quote unquote ridiculous is insinuating that message again even if unintentional this thought is shit how about we don't take what we can get and stuff and we stop giving these social leeches attention. Gotten real tired of the of commentary YouTube a while ago because of their hat fake opinions are absolute shit at least and detrimental at worst. After recent shenanigans, I can see why you feel this way. Nat and other commentators actuating false great accusations having no understanding of basic psychology i.e. narcissist silence after an accusation equals guilt etc can't stand these idiots anymore And, and then he replied, and I guess he replied to this response, which says, he interviewed her, Tom was in on it, looks like a community hit, I'm gonna unsub from Tom if he continues much past this, it's as gummy as Pyro talking about prairie moves, and then Turkey Tom, uh, Finally, uh, came out of the show at like what? What time was it? 12:50 p.m. on on December 3rd, saying, "Unsub no, I do not want you," as he doesn't want to take criticism from others in the comment section of his videos anymore. That's his response. He wants you to unstub because he does not want your criticism. And that's when this person tweeted, Chicken Thomas, criticism is not welcome. Seriously, this is one of the few responses for actual criticism in the Sea to Beat. And it's the only five is and the only reply is just unsub. Then Turkey Tom continues to cave in, saying, There are so many people criticizing me right now, I can't, I literally cannot be fucked to respond. And then he continued on, I am beyond caring. 
which to my knowledge, Turkey Tom, if you are not gonna like take criticism or respond to it, then why would you make a video about Pyrocynical responding to your document in the first place? Why would you? Don't you see how terrible it is when you can't take criticism? I mean, if you're not gonna take it head on, Turkey Time, and and act like a man, an actual man, then you're about to get shit for it. And the fact that you're saying that you're gonna say that I am beyond caring after the fact that you said at the end of your video that this py pyro situation is far from over means that it is also far from over from people who are going to criticize you in the months to come. Probably, um, probably right now, people will continue to criticize you until the end of the year or in the beginning of the year. Kind of depends on when the timing will finally stop for the pirate situation to die down. AKA the Turkey Tom situation to die down, which I don't think it might die down as we approach the next six months. However, like this person said, the commentary channel that falsely accuses people and criticizes others for not being able to take criticism, criticism cannot take criticism himself, or in surprise. And it's such a surprise indeed that you started this whole thing, Turkey Tom. I mean, like, four weeks ago, you made one video about Pyrocynical's guilt. And then... You made another video talking about uh, Pirate Cynical, and then you made your third video responding to Pirate Cynical when he responded to your document. When he knew that he didn't mention your name, but he knew that your document was poorly written in the sense. By saying that you're beyond caring to take care of criticism means that you shouldn't be on a platform. I mean, I still have some respect for you, but this is just really ridiculous on your part. I mean, Samuel Armstrong, aka Don Threadhead, said it himself, you're the pinnacle of the amount of toxicity in the commentary community. You criticize people for their actions, even storytime animation channels for not taking criticism. Yet, Look where we are at now. Calling out people randomly just to, to up your ego isn't gonna help. Criticize not welcome this. Criticize not welcome that. Boy, if you hate it when criticism isn't welcome with other creators, why can't you welcome criticism too? Imagine your school slash bond finding the situation. And then this person replied, imagine some crushy Ivy League school finding about finding out about this. Try University of Texas. Could have gone pro if I hadn't joined the Navy. I mean back to this. I mean, yeah, imagine your school finding or college finding out the situation. I mean You go to college here in, in 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 the state of Massachusetts, right? So it will be wise. It will be wise for the college dorm room people to find out your channel, and if those people who uh, are also fans of Pirates and go find out about this, well, Turkey Tom, you're gonna get a a lot of hate in real life too. 
you seriously will. And I mean that sincerely, because you make some poor judgment points again in your couple of couple of videos that you made about about fire single. And also You could have avoided this entirely, but you couldn't keep your mouth shut for money, can you? Says Maximiliano Bet8. And then that's cringe with a Z tweeted, oh, what you, what? Do you know about another commentator who can dish out criticism but, but can't take it? And then Ghosty tweeted, Please stop criticizing me. And, you know, I think those are most likely pyrocynical fans who came after Turkey Tom, but I think some Turkey Tom fans are also following him on Twitter, which means that which means that they are connected to pyrocynical, which means that they are calling out Turkey Tom, rightfully so. And then Cohen's ninety zero ninety tweeted. Turkey Tom criticism not welcome, which is what this video is about, because he can't take criticism. And Sad Ghost is on Turkey Tom's side, saying, "Can people stop hating on Turkey Tom, please?" And then P R S C C K tweeted, "He falsely accused two or three people of being pedophiles." But then he tweeted back, but can you calm down? This could just be solved in a simple way, not by attacking the person. Well, sad ghost, it's already too late for that. The damage has already been taught and done by Turkey Tom five days ago. And by the way, if you're seeing this video right now, uh, Monday, December 28th, I'm, op op I'm currently uploading this on the 30th, because for obvious reasons, this is previously recorded the day after. But I guess some people, like Sad Ghost, wants to be a Turkey Tom simp, and that's fine. But if you're gonna stand by Turkey Tom's poor judgment words that he made, you really shouldn't be defending Turkey Tom because you're the only one probably defending him. Unless other people who are fans of Turkey Tom defending him are defending him right now. Which I doubt there's hardly any in in this tweet section. Then you know what you see is what you get. And what you get is criticism. And if you don't want to take it, don't make a video about it. Or or respond to social media in general. I highly think that Turkey Tom's response was poorly written in the first place when he made his first video about Pyrocynical, and then his second video about Pyrocynical, and then now his third.
even this person gets it. By the way, I hope you're okay. The end is pretty new, right? Don't do anything stupidly. I don't think you are checking these at all now, but please look after yourself. Yeah, good idea, Lara. Turkey Tom should look after himself. He should look after himself by, first of all, not rushing out a video in the first place, which he did. He rushed out a video on, on the situation so many times that he couldn't even just say the words, I am sorry. He could have made an I'm sorry video, but instead he made a video responding to Pyrocynical to defend himself. Which is very, very, very poorly. I mean, other people are telling you that you should grow a spine and take the criticism and that that you should grow the fuck up already and admit that it is your fault uh, you said some true things not everything you said is true again because if you want me to bring this point up right now, which I can certainly will do that for you, Turkey Tom, then you'll see why uh, you made the, one of these poor statements, which you should really stop doing. And in the follow-up document I released about it, I made the claim that I didn't really know either way, leaving it up for the readers to decide. Is Pyrocynical a rumor? While I first stated no, after these new leaks, I don't feel comfortable saying no. That being said, Ivory's basic message can be legitimately proven to be true. When he was 19 years old, Pyrocynical messaged a 15-year-old sexual. Pyro frames this as a disingenuous move on my part. This document is cowardly. I mean, like the ending. You say that you don't feel comfortably say saying no, that he's not a groomer. You initially said this. You, you first stated no, as in no, he's not a groomer, but then you insinuated, insinuated by saying that you're uncomfortable saying that. Like, that's one of the reasons why uh, people had to come at you for it. That's exactly what it was. You're telling this guy that you're going to eat his cock up with your ass and at the same time claiming that this is absolutely no basis in reality. Which is ridiculous because that's exactly what you're fantasizing about doing. Roleplay itself is literally fantasizing about having sex and sexual interactions. I don't know how he would even try to make this. But it wasn't because drawings of it were just, uh, not sexual at all. You could make the argument that you're just imagining your personas having sex, but this doesn't line up with the actual DM between Ivory and Pyro, where he says stuff like, I bet your cock is so hard from imagining that, and I bet that turns you on. This even lines up with the messages between Ivory and Ida, so the idea that this is all just nothing doesn't really make sense to me. The actual work. Pyro claims that I used the situation of someone calling Ivory a cloud chaser, and then easily proved it as a way to make Ivory seem more credible. This was not to boost my own credibility, but to highlight how poorly substantiated the character attacks against Ivory were. It's not my fault that your audience spread it in the first place because you bolstered them by signal boosting random people to faming Ivory. So the majority of people did not find out because barely anyone in the situation did any research at all. On a side note.